So, two buckets. You can put a, put a honey gate on one bucket and um, then take a top of the, that same bucket, cut the top of it out in a circle like that. The screen you don't really need. The screen is on there because I also use this for a swarm capture bucket. So you dump the swarm in there, drop the top on them. Now you got your bees and they got some ventilation. That bucket goes on, that top goes on top of the other bucket with the honey gate is the ideal way to do it. But I've already got another bucket started down here that's already dripping some honey out of the uncapping tank. So I'm going to use it. It does not have a honey gate in it, but it does also have a uh, screen, uh, paint strainer bag in it. So you don't really need two of them. You put that on top of it. This bucket has holes drilled in it. Just a bucket, holes drilled in the bottom of it. You put that right on top of it. You get these from Lowe's. They're really cheap. It's a five gallon paint strainer uh, cloth, mesh strainer. Put it on top of your bucket. I got this from Better B. I don't know what it's called, but it's an uncapper or something like that. Take your frame with plastic foundation. Medium fits in there perfectly. You can use a shallow also, a deep you can use, but it's kind of awkward. Wooden spatula straight out of the kitchen. Push down. You can do a lot of frames like this really quick. And each one of these frames, when it's completely full, is what, Daniel? About five pounds, maybe? Six? I'd say so. Seven? We're done. You set that back in the capping tank. The rest of the honey can drain out of that into there. You know, this is a way that a an a hobbyist beekeeper can get started doing an extracting without a lot of expense. It works great. The problem with it is, of course, you're destroying the comb and the bees had to rebuild that. But on the other hand, you know, when I first started beekeeping, maybe one of my biggest problems wasn't having, was actually having too much drawn comb. What are you going to do with it? If you don't have a freezer, I didn't like the Paramount crystals that you put on them. To me, they stink. You know, maybe they work. I don't like to use them. Um, I just think it's adding chemicals to your hive that you really don't need to. So for me, it was a great answer. I crush and strain. You know, now I can put those frames back into the, with the bees. They can clean them out. I can take them out, put them in honey supers, and store them on a shelf somewhere, and there's nothing there for the wax moths or the hive beetles to eat. Um, so I'm done for the year. I get started again next year. Crush and strain.